Hi there, this is Mar Haddad. In uh, this uh, video, I just want to show you how you can do subnetting. So I have this exercise here. I have this network ID, which is 192.168.1.0/24, and from this network ID, I need to get four subnetworks, and each of the subnetwork needs uh, at least uh, 10 hosts. So uh, now, uh, how to do that? So uh, now, why also we, not, we need to do that? Because let's say you work in a company and uh, you have uh, four different departments and you want to give for each of the department a VLAN to do, for example, the firewall rules over there uh, for each of the department different from the other one. Then the most important part for you is just to give different uh, networks. So uh, you have this uh, 192.1.0, you want to divide it. All right, now how to start uh, thinking how to do uh, the uh, subnetwork. So first we have to say two to the power two, this gives me four networks, correct? So two to the power two. That means I would take the 192, so we have 192.168.1.0. And then this is because slash 24, this is the network. We cannot play with them. The last uh, octet, which is zero, is the one that we can change. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So each uh, here decimal is eight uh, bits. So we said two to the power two. This give me four. This is what we want for subnetworks. So that means I want to borrow two bits from the host to give it to the network. So that means I will take this one and I will take this one. Those will go for the network. So in this case, that's fine. But then the rest we have the host are those bits, which are one, two, three, four, five, six. Then if we say two to the power six, and then this gives me how much? Let's calculate it. Two to the power six give me 64. So this gives me 64 hosts, but we have to remember that uh, we have to take two because one goes to the network ID and one goes to the broadcast. That means we will get on each of the networks, we will get 62 hosts. So 62 hosts, we want 10 hosts in each of the uh, network of the four. That's fine for me because we have to think of the scalability in case, for example, we want to add more hosts then uh, that's possible on each of the network. So that means if I make this, I take two bits and uh, put it for the network, then I have this uh, good result. So this is uh, the first thing that I need to do. So I put here one. The second thing is I will make 256 minus, and then this one, one on the, the from binary to decimal, that is 128 plus 64, this gives me 192, all right? So 256 minus 192, why 256? Because of those whole eight bits, they are on decimal 256. So this gives me how much? 64, correct? So 256 minus uh, um, the uh, 192, this gives me 64. Very good. So that means I need to jump from each one network to another, I need to jump 64. So let's uh, directly write uh, what are the uh, sub-networks. So the first sub-network, it is going to be 192.168.1.0. The second, I put it here, 192.168.1.64. That's what I need to jump. The third, 192.168.1.0. Dot one dot one twenty eight. Very good. The fourth it is one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one nine two. There is no more jump because if we jump one more, then this is gonna be two five six and that's not possible. So now we have to find out each of the sub networks. What are the uh, subnet mask, uh, the first usable IP, the last usable IP, and the broadcast? So the subnet mask is always we have to look what we have borrowed here. So we had here slash 24, all right? So because we had all those bits for the network, so we had slash 24. Then we borrowed two other bits, then we have slash 26. Slash 26 means 255.255.255. .255 .255 192. If you convert from binary to decimal, 
so it is 192 for the rest i will just put here slash 26 so we know it's the same slash 26 very good now the first ip that i can use it i add from 0 1 so it's 192 say dot 1.1 then the IP which becomes or become before the 64, which is dot 63 is the broadcast. That means the last IP I can use is 62. So the first network I can use from 192.168.1.1 until 192.168.1.62. So that's uh, it says for you that you get 62 hosts. You can see it here. Now the second sub network. We have the first IP, it is dot 65. The IP which comes uh, before 128, which is 127, it is the broadcast. And the one which is before it, 126, is the last uh, usable IP. All right. Now, the third network, 129, is the first usable IP. The IP which comes before 192, which is 191, it is the broadcast for the third uh, subnetwork. And then 190 is the last IP that I can use for the third network. And uh, here we have 193 is the first usable IP. And then 255 is the broadcast and 254 is the last usable IP. So here we have, this is the first subnetwork, this is the second subnetwork, this is the third subnetwork, and this is the fourth subnetwork. And then I can assign each of these subnetworks to my um, VLANs that I'm going to do in my network. So you can see that it's straightforward. This is how you can configure it. And now I can show you this uh, calculator online. So 192.1.0, you can see that this is uh, what it gives us now from 1.1 to 1.254. To divide it, I'm going to uh, subnet bits. I'm going to take two bits for subnet. So uh, those two are going to be borrowed from the host to the network. And then you will see here, the mask bit is 26. So that's what I put here, slash 26. That's correct. And then you will get from this four maximum subnets. That's correct. And each of the subnets will have 62. That's correct. The first one will start by 192.168.1.1. We'll finish by 1.62. So you see, we'll start from 192.168.1.1. We'll finish by 62. That's correct. So that means all what I've done on the, my configuration is correct. So this is what I wanted to show you. This is how you can do the uh, subnetting. I hope that uh, this uh, video was uh, informative for you and I'll see you in some other videos.